Hello everyone, this is Empress Pamela. Welcome to this edition of Tarot and Oracle Deck Review. Merry Christmas, I am posting this on December 25th, 2023. I am recording this on September 13th, 2023. So, I'm being a little, um, I'm, well, what I'm doing is I'm taking advantage of a quiet household. Both of my children are in Japan. Big trip to Japan. First time overseas for my youngest. Um, miss them terribly, but I hope they're having an amazing time. And husband is out of town. I'm here with my two female cats they're sleeping. Um, but I'm saving this video for a special occasion and you know, it's a holiday. Um, although I've outgrown, you know, like celebrating the materialistic commercial way. This is one of, I almost, I don't want to say I almost died. Um, when I received, so, <laughs> I bought this on Poshmark. Yes, I'm going to say it again. Poshmark, check it out. Buy or sell. Use coupon code Empress Pamela, all one word. Get $10 for your shopping pleasure. I heard about this oracle from, well, originally I watched a reader who only used, um, the Heart of the Fairies Oracle by Brian and Wendy Froud, Froud, and this is Brian Froud. Um, I can't remember her page though. She, she doesn't, her name was like Annabelle or something like that. I don't remember. I don't know. But um, my favorite reader at Gemstone Tarot, Gemma, uses this deck. Now she may use Heart of the Fairy Oracle or maybe it was known as something different. Anyway, it's very um, similar if it's not the same. Working with the fairies to find insight, wisdom, and joy. The Fairies Oracle um, from the creator of the best-selling Good Fairies, Bad Fairies, Brian Froud or Froud. Text by Jessica Macbeth. This is heavy, huge, and you're going to be amazed once I freaking open it. Um, Fireside, that's the publisher. Okay. It's just gorgeous. Maybe you've seen these cards before. Maybe you've seen other readers use. Um, look at that, $25. Which isn't actually too bad considering the amazing amazingness of this. Uh, Brian Froud is an artist and author who has created such best-selling books as Good Fairies, Bad Fairies, Lady Coddington's Pressed Fairy Book, and Fairies, the conceptual designer for Jim Henson's films The Dark Crystal and Labyrinth. Oh, he lives in Devon, England. Jessica Macbeth is the author of Moon Over Water and Sun Over Mountain, Two Guides to Meditation and Self-Discovery. She lives in California and Scotland. Wow. That's a story in itself. Amazing. Insight, wisdom, and joy of the fairies. Okay. <laughs> so this was, I, I, I think I might have cried when I opened the book. I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. I don't even think I've used this before. I know I haven't. I gotta read the book. Okay, so look, this is pretty impressive. It's heavy, like I said, right? I'm opening the box. And we'll leave the box here so we can see what we're talking about, guys. Now, here's the other part of the box. Look at this. It's a freaking here. I'm gonna show you. That's how big the box is. It's a storybook. My gosh. Look, wow, I keep saying, look, look, look. Um, the 
cards are in the box. They fit in this little hole here. But this is the book. I'm not going to go read the book to you because that's going to be something you want to do. But it's like a storybook. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Acknowledgements. Here's this page. Does this help you? I don't know. 2000. Copyright 2000. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Fairies and oracles step into the other world. Okay, so there's a whole story you need to check out. Blah, blah, blah. I'm sure it's, it's really good reading. I've got to devote, almost like take one weekend and just like devote yourself to learning, to reading the material, the guidebooks, and learning the oracle card. This might take two weekends. I'm a slow reader. Right? Oh my gosh. Ooh. Number 12. Okay, you know I'm going to go to number 21. Let's find 21. Can we find it? Oh my gosh. I'm just like, I don't know want to say I'm in love, but this is like, True creativity. Wow. Card number 21 is the fairy who was kissed by the pixies. Love given, love received. Metaphorical open heart surgery. This is what it looks like. The fairy who was kissed by the pixies. Look at that. Yeah, she's glowing. Hell yeah. And here's the story. Oh, wow. It is a story. Look at that. Morna it explains. Oh, my gosh. It explains the um, symbology, the actual art on the... Do you really love me? The art on the card. Look at that. It is a true story. I mean, it's, it's truly a story is what I'm trying to say. Okay, what else? And then it says, what it means, what it means. Starter reading. Oh, wow. When can I, what can I say here? Love, sweet love. Accept it, burnish it up, add to it, and pass it on. That is the message. In the reverse, it has another message. Fairies are both luminous and illuminating. That's what Mr. Brian says. Brian Frude. Okay. So, wow. Really fun. Fun deck. Different spreads recommended and such. Lots of homework to do on that one. But let's go through the cards, guys. I'm already sold. Obviously, if you're... A friend of the fairies, a fan of the fairies, you might want this deck for your own collection. Um, I thought I organized these. Fairy guide. Look at it. It's just a blank card. It says fairy guide. Okay. Um, card numbers there. The title is over there, and the font is fun and funky, so <laughs> forgive me if I can't decipher the word or words at the beginning, because it is, my vision does um, play tricks on me. Card number one, unity. Card number two. Ecstasis. Card number three, the guardian at the gate. Card number four, he of the fiery sword. Mm -hmm. Card number five, she of the 
<laughs> oh, Lord. Cruab. Forgive me. That's what it looks like. Number six. The Singer of Connection. Seven. The Singers. The Singer of Intuition. Eight. The Singer of Courage. Nine. The Singer of Initiation. Number 10, the singer of healing. Mm. Number 11, the singer of transfiguration. 12, the singer of the chalice. Ooh. 13, solace. Wow. 14. The Caden. I want to say that's a K. 15. The Journeyman. It's like the fool. 16. The Bright Mother. Wow. Look at that artwork. 17, himself. 18, the lady of the harvest. 17? I, I meant 18. Okay. 18 is the Lady of the Harvest. 19, the Sage. 20, the Dark Lady. 21, the Fairy who was kissed by the pixies. There she is. Do you love me? Do you really love me? Mm -hmm. 22, the master maker. Okay, so that baby was an M. It was the maiden. Sugar plum. Let me see if I can find that one again. I probably shouldn't go back to it. This one. That must be an M. The maiden. Okay. I'm just, I'm not used to the font. So I think that's the master maker. Ooh. 23. The green woman. Wow. Wouldn't want to find her in a forest. 24, the piper. I would want to find him in the forest. <gasps> 25, the fairy godmother. Mm. 26, oh, all oh, hat, all oh, that gnome. Old Hat Gnome. I don't know what that is. Hmm. 27. Nellis the Alchemist. Penelope Dreamweaver. Penelope Dreamweaver. 29. Taom the Poet. 
30, The Loam. Thirty one. Undressing of a salad. Thirty two. Iris of the rainbow of the rainbows. Thirty three. Fairies of the future. Thirty four. Sylvanius. Or Sylvanius. <clears throat> Thirty five. The Fawn. Thirty six. Spirit Dancer. Wow. Thirty seven. Tabira of the Waters. 38. Lasty, Moon's Daughter. 39. Las Guna, or Las Guna. Mm, she looks like a reptile there. 40. Honesty. Mm. 41. Oh, gosh. Oh. Something the Retriever. Alby the Retriever? I think that's wrong. Let's see. 42. Mick the... something mancer Mick the Mayo Mancer hmm. Jeez. 43 GU the slow GU the slow <laughs> okay we see what some of the hiccups are just the font and being able to read it I think has been a struggle for me. 44. Lists of the Shadows. 45. Tayton the Sylph. 46. The Friends. 47, The Oakmen, 48, a, collect a Collective of Pixies, 49, <clears throat> Mickle, a muckle? Okay. 50. Arvel Parrot. Pointing to his throat chakra. 51. The Topsy Turvets. 52. The Rar. 53, death. 54, Epona's wild daughter. 55, the soul shrinker. 56, gluminous loom. 57. Lathos the Wild. Lathos the Wild. 
58. Half the hooter? Hooter? Half the hooter? Okay. 59. The bodacious bodock. 60. The pook. 61. The hob job. Or G hob job. 62. The gland coner. 63. Indy. 64. Gotcha? Gotcha. Hmm. 65. The Fee Lion. That's it. 65. Wow. That was a struggle for me to read, guys. I'm so sorry. I can't figure out that font. However, <laughs> that is not to say that I don't care for the deck. I love the deck. I love the presentation, the story of which, you know, is amazingly put together in this amazing book, right? I'm sure there will be a greater understanding once I read it, taking all the information and the adoration of the power of the fairies through Brian Frude's eyes. And Jessica Macbeth as well, right? So I hope you enjoyed this presentation. It was a struggle, but, um, you know, can't be perfect all the time. Ha ha. Anyway, Merry Christmas. Whenever you watch this, um, please comment which decks you want me to review. What are your favorite decks? And like and subscribe if you're interested, okay? I've got a couple more videos to do. Take care.